So about a year and a half ago, I got this Bluetti EP Pro 500 uh, energy storage system for you know backup energy store backup energy supply storage when you have, for example, um, electricity outage from a hurricane, which happens a lot in Florida, or or other reason. And uh, I tested it out, reviewed it a year and a half ago, and I wanted to just do like a uh, a catch up, a, lo a longer term, you know, kind of check in review of the product and just as a refresher it's it's uh it's got wheels here it's easily it's got too small and too big so you just easily can lock or unlock the wheels on the small side and then roll it around it's very heavy very large so it's not easy to like put in a car or even take um up or down a a step um with that, especially without two people but uh it's that's because it packs a ton of a ton of energy of electricity in it, a lot of energy storage, and uh, <clears throat> the short story is there's nothing really <laughs> there's nothing really notable or dramatic to announce. Um, I think the last time I used it was about six months ago. We had this huge hurricane hit Southwest Florida, and I used it as our, our main backup energy source. It ended up about ninety percent of our county lost electricity, but somehow we didn't. So we never actually had to rely on it, but um, you know, I charged it up and then I, I had to like, you know, use it to get it down to like around 50% for storage, because that's you know ideal. I believe I got up down to 49%, and just pulling it out of the pantry after six months, it's at 49%. So it just it really it holds electricity really well, um, holds you know doesn't waste electricity while it's in storage. And uh, and just long term, it seems like it's got as much capacity as it had in the beginning. So it really has held up extremely well. When you you know, obviously, I'm not using it every day. <laughs> I used it a bit on and off to test it, or just for fun, kind of use it as a wireless phone charger or to charge my computer. And because um, <clears throat> it's got a lot of a lot of great features. But um, yeah, it's <laughs> the short story is that it's it's like new a year and a half later, and uh, I really couldn't recommend it highly enough. It's 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 I love the way it rolls around. You can move around the house. I love that the the uh, you got the wireless phone chargers on top, <clears throat> various DC output ports here. USB-C, USB-A, <clears throat> and then you've got down here the option to plug in various normal 110 volt, 120 volt plugs, and even a 30 amp outlet. So uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the the story. So if you look at the screen, it shows we have the PV solar panels, which we we tested uh, about a year ago. Um, it can charge it up slowly, although that was hard because while it was charging, it's so big, it was uh, it was breathing a lot, and um, the you have to have direct sun, so it was cloudy the, the day I tried. So as long as you have direct sun, you know you can recharge it with the solar panels, uh, but you need that sunlight. <clears throat> but here's you know it's a fun, easy to use display with the PV the PV input grid input dc load ac load and then you can turn the dc ports on or off you can turn the ac ports on or off and then it's uh it's really easy to control i've had some other energy storage systems that it was just like tricky to figure out how how to activate the plugs it was confusing for some reason uh but this is really um great system like i said after 18 months it's like brand new uh, easy to store. It's a shelf in our pantry, basically, where we put stuff on it, uh, and just store it in the in the in the on the back wall of the pantry. So, yeah, <clears throat> I just love I love the thing. It's one of my favorite uh, household products or appliances. And um, even though we don't need to use it that much, it was when we had the huge hurricane hit this last time. Uh, Hurricane Helene, I believe it was, with Ian Helene, but I think the last one was Helene. 
when we had the huge hurricane hit, it was just such a peace of mind to have this much energy storage capacity, 5,120 watt hours uh, or five kilowatt hours of energy storage capacity. Um, just knowing that it could back up everything we needed for uh, a couple of days if needed, or a few days, or depending on what you what you back up, you know, you can do a day or a week, um, depending on what you're gonna actually use. But uh, yeah, we had peace of mind um, with two young kids, two daughters. Yeah, it was great to have the, the device. And then just when the hurricane passed, stored it back in the pantry. So yeah, I love, Love the product and highly recommend it long term as well as um, like if you're looking to get something for a specific event. It's, it's obviously too large for like camping or something like that. You know, you want a smaller product, but if you want like security in the case of a hurricane or wildfires, um, I, I've, I've had a number of products and this one gives most, most peace of mind because of how much how much storage it has and just how easy it is to use. So highly recommended. So just as a quick demo of it, charging something again, uh, I'll put on AC mode. And we're gonna plug in a couple of computers. Plug. Gonna have to, yeah, pause to plug them in. So with them both plugged in now, you see the AC load go up to about 100 watts. If I can pull one of them out real quick, then you'll see it drop again to about half, a little more than half that for one of them. <clears throat> and yeah, the same process happens reliably every single time, whether you're plugging something in or putting a phone on the wireless charger on the top. And that's it. It's so simple to use. I don't know what else <laughs> there is to say about it, but it is a really easy system with tons of energy storage.